So we're in another port swigger lab, and in this one, it is vulnerable to SQL injection, allowing a login bypass with the administrator. So if we go to the My Account page, and as you can see, we're trying the username of admin. Now, for the password, what we're going to fill in is we're going to fill in a single quote. And basically, that if it's vulnerable to SQL injection, it should, it should throw an internal server error. Now, typically an SQL injection, which stands for SQL Query Language, which is a language that programmers use to retrieve information to a database and to write to it, typically with SQL injections, what you want to do is send a response to the server that you know is true and then send one that you know should not be true. And if the request that should be true is not, then you have successfully found an SQL injection most likely. So we're going to throw a single quote here and we're going to try to log in. And notice how it doesn't say no username or password found. Instead, it does internal server error. So if we go back, we're assuming that it's vulnerable to SQL injection. What I'm going to do is put the single quote as before. And basically, that is going to make the variable that the that what we add. So the stuff we enter in the password field is stored as a variable. Variables have a starting quote and an ending quote. If I put a quote in here as this, as the input, we can assume that it is going to treat that as ending the string. So because of that, though, there's still the other string and it might have errors. So what we're going to do is do a double dash, which basically means ignore everything after. Because again, we're trying to do SQL injection. So f double forward slash in JavaScript would be... Um, a comment dash dash in SQL is also a comment, so that's what we need. Now, before that, we need to do an or statement, and we need to do the spaces that's important, and we're going to do or one equals one. And what this is telling the computer is, if the password is empty or one is equal to one, which is a true statement, then allow the login. So now, if we try the login, you can see that. Um, it says we have solved the lab, which it said last time because I've tried this before. But now your username is administrator and you have successfully done an SQL injection.